There is no doubt that cats are agile beings, navigating the narrowest of pathways and somehow managing to land right side up, even when falling awkwardly. Does this mean they always land on their feet? Animal Wise reveals the truth. Is it true that cats always land on their feet? We're sorry to tell you that no, it's not true that cats always land on their feet. While they are very agile and have a great ability at righting themselves, it is possible they can fall in another way and become hurt. The myth is derived from ancient cultures. The Egyptians saw them as sacred animals, their ability to survive surprisingly high falls leading them to impart supernatural powers to the felines. While cats often do land on their feet, they don't always make it, especially if the height is very low. We take a closer look at the biological and anatomical factors which influence this. Why do cats land on their feet? In 1894, French scientist Etienne Jules Marais used a high-speed camera to record a cat falling. He found they didn't violate the laws of physics as previously thought, but instead used very precise movements of the spine, head and paws to rotate their body without pushing through the air. This almost magical ability to land on their feet is actually a natural ability known as the writing reflex. This reflex is an automatic response that allows cats to reorientate their bodies during a fall to land on their paws. They develop it from about three weeks of age, but how exactly does it work? Cats have a highly developed vestibular system in their inner ear, giving them an exceptional sense of balance. This system allows them to quickly detect their position in space and adjust their posture accordingly. The feline anatomy is remarkably flexible. Their spine is made up of approximately 30 highly mobile vertebrae, allowing them to twist and turn with great ease. This flexibility is essential for them to reorient their bodies in the air. During the fall, the cat first turns their head to orientate themselves, then arches their back and moves their paws in a coordinated manner. They bring in their front legs and extend their back legs, then reverse the movement. This action allows them to turn their body without the need for external force, thanks to the conservation of angular momentum. Cats reach a terminal velocity of approximately 60 miles per hour or 97 kilometers per hour during a fall, which is slower than that of humans. This gives them more time to maneuver and prepare for landing. There are various other factors that influence a cat's fall. Although the writing reflex is impressive, it doesn't guarantee cats will always land on their feet or emerge unscathed from a fall. Paradoxically, cats falling from intermediate heights of between 3 and 10 meters can be more dangerous than those from greater heights. With longer falls, cats have more time to correct their posture and reach a lower terminal velocity, allowing them to better prepare for impact. A study conducted in New York found that cats that fell from heights greater than 10 to 12 meters suffered fewer injuries than those that fell from lower heights. Soft surfaces such as grass or carpet can cushion the impact while hard surfaces such as asphalt or cement increase the risk of injury. For example, overweight, elderly or ill cats may have a reduced ability to right themselves and absorb the impact of a fall, increasing their risk of injury. Now you know that cats don't always land on their feet. If yours has suffered a serious fall, you should take them to the vet for a checkup. Sharing this video may help spread the word. You can also find other cat facts in the playlist we share here. We'll see you next time.